Okay, YouTubers, I said to me, uh, well, I failed to say in my last video that um, I was going to do another video on my uh, flue emissions for this waste oil heater. And also, I'm going to be showing you the uh, filter before everything comes in from outside. And so all this is all nicely filtered, but it was a bit of an afterthought actually when I done my last video on this waste oil heater. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to get you in a bit close, we're going to light it up and as soon as I've lit it, shut the door uh, I'm going to uh, keep the video rolling and go straight to the flue outside, so let's, let's do it. <clears throat> okay, so same procedure, same as uh, in the previous video, 50-50 uh, petrol and oil, that's just to reduce the flash point down of the petrol, stop it going bang when I first light it, and you'll see, we only use very small amount okay so let's get the lid back on that so we've blown ourselves up i've got my blowtorch ready just in case the paper don't light it we'll pour it down into the funnel give that a wipe okay and i'll light it the same way as i lit it last time and that's just the rag and then stick the fan on. Goes with a bit of a warmth. There you go. Fan on straight away. Here we have it. Okay. I'll just let that flue get up to temperature for a few seconds. So get it up to about well, I don't know, about 70, 80 degrees. Get it drawing. Stick the oil on. Okay, now I'm going to shut the door. Now it's only been a matter of seconds since I lit it. I'm just going to quickly take it over and show you the drip. Show you how much I've got going on it. Okay, that's the drip now. And calmed down a bit and settled so it's a good opportunity now to uh, show you the flu okay let's let's do that now here's my bird table built that a few years ago nice There you have it. Don't know whether you can hear it or not. No smoke whatsoever. You know, I'll put it against different coloured backgrounds like the roof, you know, the sky there, the brickwork on that building. Like I say, it's important to me this is because, like, like I say, I've got houses all the way, all the way around me here, you know, so. Um, Obviously don't use it in the summertime, but uh, as you can see, there is no smoke whatsoever. You know, you can't even smell anything, you know. If the wind blows this way a little bit, you can smell a little bit, but, you know, by the time you get down the ladders, you can't smell anything. I've never smelled anything from it, so I'm really pleased with that. Okay, so this is me, um, me filter set up, basically at the bottom of here. Um, I've got a pipe going into the workshop, as you've seen in the other video. Uh, this is the storage tank, and this is the filter. So, we just take these off. This is just a tile off my roof when I install my float. Just that cover, take that off. And that's my filter. Okay, so at this end, here, um, this you can see that plastic pipe just in between these pipes here. Um, that runs through them all. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight, eight tubes there with a piece of sponge uh, at each end, this side and in that side as well. So uh, that's just a bit of lead weight. When you first put the oil in, it tries to lift up, but uh, to seal this end. But basically, uh, the oil comes in through the sponge, um, and then uh, there's holes drilled in this pipe that goes through all these other pipes. That main pipe. There's a hole drilled in in the centre of each one then the water uh, the oil seeps through into the hole and runs down the pipe and down into the drum below 
So there's uh, the 16, 16 different sponges there just to speed the, the whole process up. Got, it takes about, for one of them drums there, some of them are 25, some of them are 30 litre drums. Um, but it takes about what, about five minutes a drum to, uh, to filter. So I'm quite happy with that. So probably once a month, um, I top this up with a couple of drums and that will last me absolute ages, you know. So, but we're just, you know, we're in the autumn now here and, uh, you know, I, I made a video the other night of the actual heater itself because it was, you know, it was a little bit, it was getting a bit nippy, but, uh, but now coming into the winter time, it gets really cold in there, in the workshop, like so. Um, I'll be using that a lot. Okay. Also, what I'm going to be doing is um, I'm going to be doing uh, how much oil I use per hour or in an eight-hour session. Um, I don't get the opportunity much because, um, well, not this time of year. It's only in the uh, you know coming to the end of August. I'm going to measure this tank here and uh, I'm going to calculate how, how many litres it holds. I'm not too sure, I don't know whether it's what, 12, 15 litres, I've no idea. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll do a measurement of it and calculate how much litre it is. And then what I'll do is, um, might do it this evening, I don't know. I'm going to put a mark on it, on the inside or on the outside and then come back about four hours later, maybe later on, do another, you know, stop the, uh, stop the video um, and then uh, and then calculate how many liters I've, I've used. So I'm going to be putting that in, the, in the, another video as well. Okay, so that's the um, that's the flue emissions on through that the waste oil filter outside, and that's the end of the video. So, but what I do want to say is, if you think about building one of these things yourself, and you're thinking, mm, you know, is surround is a difference of mine, or doesn't matter what question you've got. If you feel the need to make comments, make comments and I will get back to everybody. Because you can build this yourself, but what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do another video. Uh, I'm going to sit on this stool here. And before I do, I'm going to write down all the things that I went through building this thing. Because it just didn't take me five minutes to build it. It took me a few months to build it. Um, there's a lot of waste oil builders on YouTube, um, which I got a, a lot of ideas from. And I started off building it their way, um, with a uh, big... Um, big primary burners and uh, with brake drums and, and with holes drilled in them and so forth but this this workshop of mine is only what it's only about what 14 foot by by 10 something like that be 12 it's a proper building you know it's uh, it's concrete block on the inside it's brick on the outside it's got a proper apex roof with the uh, roof tiles on it you know uh, this I've got a proper ceiling which is plastered here on the trusses or on the uh, on the spars but uh, but that's my workshop so this suits me. Now I've got that running now at what? Uh, inside it's running at 100, 165 degrees now. Like I say, if you've got a bigger building, you know, you, you might have to use like a barrel or something, you know, to, to actually um, to radiate the heat a little bit more. Um, or if you've got a smaller place, you know, go for a smaller, you know, this is a 19 kilogram bottle, uh, gas bottle, uh, go for something like a 12 or a 13, you know, or even smaller. Like I say, I'm going to do another video. I'm going to write down because I've been to the scrapyard and everything to, you know, to save costs of taking things out of um, battery drills and all sorts, you know, for the for the fans. And uh, I think the only thing I did actually buy was um, the T piece at the back and the uh, and this this digital readout here, which only paid a fiver, which you'll, you know, I said in the last video. So uh, any comments, uh, give us a comment. But uh, don't forget to subscribe because uh, you'll get notified when the next video is coming. Then so. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers for watching.